Hello, my name is Leo, and welcome back for another episode of House Run 3 in Black Eyes mod as uh, People's Republic of China. So in previous episodes we managed to take a bit more ground in Manchuria, but we were starting to lose some ground in uh, Indochina. So the enemy has brought in a lot of troops in here, they've got a lot of planes and all that, so it's going to be a bit rough. I might actually build an air base in Vin. Get a few levels for that. Get that underway. Because we are going to need quite a bit of, um, or some sort of air base over here that we can utilize to fight off the enemy bombers. Uh, but we have at least brought some uh, troops in here to start digging in on the more defensive terrains. And slowly but surely we'll retreat to the mountain jungles, or hill jungles rather, right now. Oh, and Ping Cheng is under attack. Uh, right, is that, that's under attack. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and stop that attack then. So that we can fight. Oh, kind of Wilhelm. Kind of Wilhelm is dead. Now, we haven't had a look at the situation in Operation Parvarosa yet. They haven't been going for that long. Uh, on that, so they're taking a bit of ground. That's about it. The Germans are still fighting in Norway as well. Although they, well, they haven't gotten more than Norway, or Trondheim, sorry, not Norway, Trondheim thus far. The Italians um, have been pushed back a decent bit in uh, Libya, but they haven't been pushed too far yet. Oh, but Iraqi war against the British is going surprisingly well. They've taken basically all of. Um, well, modern-day Israel, or Palestine. I mean, they, they got Tel Aviv. They're almost to Egypt, actually. So that's going surprisingly well for them. They've taken most of Jordan, and they've taken... Okay. I'm honestly quite surprised by that. Now, in the meanwhile, we are still... Ooh, that one's going to have to start retreating now. Before things get too bad. Is this one the 63%... Oh, there we go, Victor Yitong. And Gushan is under attack. Well, that's probably not going to be quite as bad of a combat for us. Hopefully, at least. Unless they start sending a lot of troops in there, in which case it could be pretty bad. Uh, right, so we're going to send in this one in as well, won't we? On the other hand, we can let that stay at the port, and we'll send this one out to help with the attack on Dalian. The sooner we can get that, the better. And we're trying to get the... Oh, there we go. We might be closing... Oh, heavy industry in Xi'an. Oh. Oh, oh, oh. All right, then. Well, we'll go ahead and start building up the industry in there, then. It's not much right now. It's only one IC in there, but uh, over time, it'll be improving. There we go. We did clear out the um, partisans in here. We can go ahead and empty that province, then. We'll go ahead and send in the close air support. Hmm. Actually, I don't know. Do we have any airfields nearby? Up here in the north, not yet. We're building one over here, but right now we don't have that. So in that case, it's going to be a little bit tricky, actually. Uh, having an airfield in Mukden might not be the worst, but I don't think... Uh, by the time we have it built, that we might not have a front line nearby to it. Well, there we go, victory of Fengcheng. Second victory of Fengcheng. Ooh, uh, we're under attacking Kashi. So they're attacking from... Um, actually, mostly across the river. All right, then. In that case, what I could do... Oh, they're also attacking up here. Right, uh, let's just go ahead and do a bit of support attack. We'll clear out the mountains first. Which is probably not the smart idea, admittedly. But that's where we've got more troops to spare. To attack into. So we are five days away from getting another infantry division. That'll be quite handy. And then we are getting another industry soon enough. Actually, two industries in this month. So that's quite handy. Uh, officer ratio is still not all that great. We are fighting quite heavily right now, so that's uh, most of the reason, I reckon. I'm going to go ahead and retreat one of these mountaineers behind the lines for now, because it's uh, looking a bit rough. Ooh, there we go. On a Yitong. Did we get... Uh, oh, right, this uh, battle... It's not going as well as one might hope, so I'm going to go ahead and cancel that one for now. No point in trying to... desperately break through. They are taking massive casualties. If it's uh, still going to be a loss anyway. I'm going to go ahead and pull back the infantry from here. The other two can probably still hold on for a little while. And then, of course, down in the south. This one's probably going to be... Yeah, that should probably retreat now. Usually I would probably wait up until maybe 50% strength. But right now, since we know that we are going to have to do potentially more fighting retreat uh, still in here. It's probably best for us to not go too close to the point where they shatter. Because then we won't be able to mount any sort of defensive positions or defensive combats uh, further in. 
Now, Kren Cheng is still under attack, but well, uh, luckily it's hills. This one's looking a little bit rough. I suppose what we'll do is we'll send the uh, uh, mercenary infantry. Now we've got three divisions attacking Dalian. The enemy, one of the enemy headquarters at least, is going to be shattering soon, hopefully. It's down to 35% strength, and it's not that much strength in there to begin with. So I suspect that that's going to be a fairly easy victory for us there. Uh, I could probably go ahead and send in the interceptors from here a bit further north. And then start using them to guard some of the areas in here. We'll go with just daytime for now. Oh, actually, no, we'll go day and night. Protect uh, that sort of area, I suppose. And we'll go with defensive uh, stance, though. So we're not necessarily going to be going there at all times. Making sure that the planes are at least uh, in a fighting condition. But yeah, now we've uh, kind of... Uh, Turned back to defensive stance right now. I mean, at least uh, with the breakthroughs that we've managed to do, we did gain a lot of ground. It's not quite as much as I was hoping for, but you need to start somewhere, I suppose. Ooh, infantry unit combined arms advance. There we go. That's quite handy. Is that actually... No, that's definitely not ahead of time. Right, how are we looking in this south? So, I think we're going to go ahead and pull back the surviving militia, which took most of the uh, fighting previously. To pull back to Badon, get to the hills or jungles in here. So once they start attacking, they'll have a lot harder time attacking, at least in theory. In practice, it might not be all that difficult for them yet. We will retake these eventually. Just might take a while. Well, there we go, Victor Dalian. Well, well, well. Okay, so we are going to let one of these go in there. The other two can start moving north or northeast to maybe close off this one. Uh, we definitely need to re retreat that uh, light infantry division. And honestly, the infantry division is not going to last very long either. Oh, we did get an oil rig in Lanjou. It's going to be quite handy. Not that we are short on oil by any means, but uh, it's not the worst. Oh, this one's under quite a bit of attack. Uh, I don't think we have a lot of troops to send in there right now either. And this one, well, that one's going to be a victory, no doubt. This one's going to be a victory... This one is hopefully a victory, at least if the mercenary infantry can hold back the enemy for long enough uh, until the reinforcements arrive from the southwest. The Dalian will be ours very shortly. We did get two divisions in here. I did one. Well, I suppose I don't think we're going to really cut across the river here yet. At least the cavalry unit over here is going to be wrecking itself, attacking us. Oh, and Jingyuan. Oh, right. They're trying to. Ooh, major victory. Aha! There we go. And there's the infantry division. So this is going to be the 8th Corps. Just to sign it directly in there. I suppose I should probably go ahead and give it a leader as well. Give it a little bit of time to regain organization. Oh, now they're attacking again, the mouse. Well, at least this one is going to be a lot easier combat, let's be honest. But we do kind of need to get some more officer recruitment. So I'm going to go ahead and shuffle these around. I'm going to go to like 10 leadership in officer recruitment for a little while. Just so we can get the officer ratio up a little bit because we're taking quite heavy losses right now and it's not looking good okay the infantry division is retreating at least the well these haven't actually started moving yet but we should be getting the chili gulf now that's going to give us a bit more resource efficiency and supply throughput which is going to be quite handy Peng Zheng is still holding on oh this is looking a bit rough i don't think we're going to hold that let's go ahead and start attacking in here then already uh, we lost in Gujarat. Oh, yeah, no, that didn't last very long. Well, at least we can get the reinforcements in here, and then we can do a counterattack uh, in a little bit. These are still very frequently under attack. I suppose uh, we'll wait a little bit longer for the organization for the Mountaineer Division in here, and then we can uh, send the 11th Division back while this uh, first Mountaineer Division goes back in. When do we get okay, August is when we get another Infantry Division for the Southern Front. And then in October, and after that, it's well, currently it says November, but that might not be the case. At least getting a little bit of more ships as well, although we are not really using our fleets yet. Well, quite a, for quite a while, let's say. So, yeah, that's going to be a loss. Uh, I suppose what I could do is I could move this one in. Yeah, that was a major defeat. It took nine times. Well, I suppose they got the bombers in here. That's what's uh, costing us so much. But we, you know what? I'm going to redeploy over there. We might get there faster. And since there's no combat in there, technically speaking, right now, we can do that. 
just buy some more time for us to defeat the pocket in there. Yeah, there we go. So we did at least uh, pull them in combat. They're now pushing further in here. I think we may need to start retreating one of these at least. Let's pull back the naval infantry first. These three are currently defending in uh, jungle hills, so it should be fairly good defense. Well, somewhat good defensive position for us at least. And a little bit rough attack for the enemy. So I think we can hold in there. If not, well, we've still got the... I'm going to move in this Survivor Militia or Naval Infantry over here. So that we'll have some uh, fallback position in there, just in case. I might go ahead and send one of these further in here as well. Right, so we're running a little bit low on reserves up there, uh, or down south. At least up here, we're mostly fine. I think we're going to send this one back to Mukden. Ooh, rare extraction in Taiwan, excellent. That one's gonna hold, this one's probably not gonna hold. At least we're delaying the inevitable. Plus I suppose we won the battle in here, we can go ahead and send another division to join on that one. Ooh, major defeat. Oh, oh. Well, that's not good. At least uh, we had some time in here to dig in, but yeah, they brought in a lot of troops in here. So we may need to retreat behind the river. In the worst case. At which point, it's gonna be mostly fighting in the south then. I mean, I think, well, this is going to be the a problem. But if we can clear out the pocket in here, then we can push back whatever they get across the river, I reckon. In the meanwhile, down south. Oh, yeah, that's already retreating. I think we may need to retreat that one as well. This one's hopefully going to hold on. Although I suppose what I could do is I'm going to pull back the naval infantry behind the line right now. Just so that it's got some time to re reorganize. And in the mountains up here. Oh, there we go. That's not good, but uh, it did happen. Right, well... They are going to be able to open up the front line over here again. Can I go... No, I can't really do much about that. Wait, are you not... Okay. I thought I gave you the orders to do intercepting in here, but I guess you're not doing that. Yeah, they managed to open that one up. They're going to be bringing in a whole lot of troops in there, actually. Ah, oh, there we go. Xinjiang is at least a victory. But they are pushing us uh, in several locations right now, which is... Ooh, I'll start bombing Shanghai. Oh, dear. Oh dear. Uh, okay, it's not carrier air groups yet, so it might not be a landing. But it's a very good chance that they will try to do a landing in here. At least we've got the anti aircraft guns in there, so it does give us a bit more possibilities. It is Kratosax in there, so yeah, I think they are trying to do a landing. Do we have... Uh, oh, yeah, we do have an infantry over here. Let's go ahead and send that to Shanghai. Yeah, they're storming the beach in Shanghai. At least they're trying to, but shouldn't they... Oh, we've got manganese shortage. Uh, can I... Actually, I could buy manganese. And yeah, we'll buy that from... Probably the Soviets. Help them get some money. Although, they might mean that they won't have enough. So, technically, they should... Oh, I wonder if it's actually going to Nantong instead. Because there should be a combat in here if they're doing a landing. I have seen it sometimes where the AI just decides to do a landing. And... They land and oppose for some whatever reason. I have seen it before. So I wonder if that's going to be the case in here. Oh, there we go. Now the Battle of Shanghai. Oh, they probably had the combat delay in there. So they started the technically speaking the invasion, but in theory, they didn't, or in practice, they didn't do much. Okay, so we're getting pushed back pretty hard in the north. I'm going to go ahead and start... Well, actually, that's going to be attacking in here. Yep, there we go. I'm going to pull back the uh, motorized division. This one's going to have to pull back. And then in Shanghai, we are getting some more reinforcements. I suppose what we'll do, we'll redeploy over there. We'll send in the infantry from the neighboring province there instead. I think this is going to be... Well, they've got a decent bit of troops in there attacking. They're doing the bombing runs, which is going to be very costly for us. But if we can get a proper infantry division in there, that's probably going to be good enough. We could probably send in both of these in there. And that way we can just wreck the enemy, hopefully. Now, to be fair, since we got the... Actually, we don't have any coastal ports or beach defenses in here. Oh. Well, never mind then. There we go. We've got the manganese back, so we can build the ships. And let's see. We need a bit more... In... Well, we are going to be getting a bit more industry sooner. Also getting a petroleum refinery. A first of its kind. For ourselves. So that's going to allow us to convert a little bit more oil into fuel. There we go. Now we're getting some more reinforcements in here. So I think the enemy is going to be going to be taking quite a bit of more losses and yeah they took that one I think we may need to stop this attack before we get completely wrecked 
Okay, we're under attack in the mountains. We'll probably go ahead and... Oh, actually, no, these are not in a shape to move anyway. We could maybe send in the first mountain air division uh, in here, and then we'll pull back maybe the other mountain here. Down this way. Are we ready to attack? I suppose we've got two divisions to ready to push back the enemy in Kushan. They only got one division in there, so it shouldn't be too difficult. Yeah, no, that's uh, probably going to be a fairly easy victory. Plus, we've got the... Well, we've got the interceptors there. Where would you have... Right, we've got the close air support down here. We don't really have the airfield capability nearby to utilize these, let's be honest. Unless I send these down south. But then, even then, the range would be too short. I suppose one of the things that I could do is I could send these down to Shanghai. What we'll do is we'll do some naval strikes over there. Maybe we can do some damage for the enemy ships. Oh, it's not even large fleet there. Okay, naval strike. We'll go aggressive, but not continuous. Sooner we can get underway there, the better. But I think I may have put it on daily rather than or during daytime, which does mean that it's going to be hopefully doing a bit more damage. So yeah, it's got four cruisers, one destroyer, and one transport in there. So it's actually not that large of a division then. Yeah, artillery brigade advanced level five. There we go. So the enemy is definitely pushing us back in here. I think we are going to go ahead and retreat one of these behind the river. And then from here, we'll start retreating the mercenary infantry already. Oh, and yeah, we're, we're getting an attack everywhere right now. Well, I mean, it was a good um, advance while we could manage it. But right now, it's going to be a little bit difficult. But maybe if we can shorten the front line here a little bit, get back to Dandong and get to uh, Quan Dian, then that might be a relatively easy. I mean, if we can retake the side of the river, that will probably help. But are we... Oh, yeah, the enemy is taking a bit of casualties in here now. And our bombing in the ships in here, well, we've done a little bit of damage, nothing massive, mind you. The enemy is doing bombing on uh, Shanghai, although they're not doing that much damage. Well, they're probably do, dealing still a pretty good amount of damage overall, but it's not quite as bad. We've got a lot more anti aircraft guns in there. I'm going to go ahead and send one of these into the combat. Just provide a little bit extra strength, and then this one, well, it's still holding. Go ahead and send one of the mountaineers up there. And they're doing counterattack with the infantry from uh, Tiping. I'm going to go ahead and uh, send two of these to attack the enemies in there. So now they'll be having a double combat penalty for most of the units. Not all of them, but most of them. Oh, now they're trying to get across the river as well. All right, then. A little reinforcements, more upgrades. And yeah, we're just a few more days away from the... Well, for the industry, and then a few days after that, we'll get the petroleum refinery. Although, actually, that's going to increase the construction practical probably by 0.1. So that means that we might be able to get that pretty much this next day. Right, how are we looking in the south? It's not looking too great. I think we might go ahead and send in this one. Well, it's going to be in the mountain jungle for now, I think. Someone's going to have to retreat. And over here, at least we got the 19th Division. This is probably the heavier one. Oh, there we go, Victor Kujan. That's moving in. This one could probably move into Feng Cheng. Now, as least we've got an... Oh, right. Uh, Crown attacks. Oh, brilliant. I'm going to go ahead and build up the airbase up here a little bit. Because we've got the interceptors in there. And I think with the massive enemy counterattacks in here, we'll go ahead and build an airfield up here. Also, I should probably go ahead and start building the industry in Jian, so that that will at least be done sooner. Of course, we are also going to be... Oh, no, we don't actually have any consumer goods right now. So all of this has been reducing uh, passively. Ooh, the destroyer is looking a bit rough there. So the close air support has actually been somewhat successful in this. Well done. Have we gotten any experience in there? A little bit. Logistics master, but that's about it. Fleet destroyer, we've gotten a tiny bit. We do have the tank buster in there already, at least. I forget, did I start doing the... Oh, I do have the flying boat and naval bombers underway. Of course, they're still pretty far away along the list there. But once we get the armored division done, then that's probably going to fix a lot of the issues. And a few other units as well. So up here in the mountain... Oh, there we go. We've got the mountain edge assist. So we might actually be able to hold on to the salient in here. And if we can push back the enemies doing the counterattacks, we'll probably be fine. We're going to go ahead and take these two divisions to start attacking Kashi. That one's probably going to be able to hold. Oh, if not, we can go ahead and send Katmandos to assist in the defense there. 
Oh, right, they're doing counterattack in here now. Well, that's probably going to be dealt with fairly quickly. Actually, I'm going to send Katmandos through. We could potentially send one of these divisions in there if we need help. But right now, I don't think we need to worry about it too much. And, uh, oh, that's quite a bit of troops there. But, oh, I think we sink. I'm pretty sure we sank the destroyer. Let's have a look. Sunk ships. Sink a country. Uh, no, I don't think we actually did. So it may have uh, retreated then, maybe. Well, regardless, we've done some damage in there for the ships at least. Oh, Kihihara was a victory. Okay, so at least we're holding on some of this uh, ground here on the other side of the river. But it's not looking great. That one's going to have to retreat. We could probably go ahead and send in one of these divisions to aid there instead. Just so that we can keep the fight going. Is this one uh, slowly gaining some organization? These are mountains to be so to be fair. So what I could do is I could start sending some of these down south. This one's a little bit lower in organization. I suppose it's uh, slowly regaining it, so I can send this one down here towards uh, Kihihara. Just get some more reinforcements in there. Hold off uh, or hold them back for the time being. Ooh, industry, right. And with some of those. Oh, so the next industry is 2nd of August. Okay, so that was pushed back a tiny bit, but that's all right. And the petroleum refinery is still on 29th. Okay. Oh, that one's been delayed a little bit. All right, then. Well, I suppose we've been putting in a lot of uh, airfields and such into the production queue. Speaking of which, um, okay, we could maybe try to take uh, Nandong once more. Although we might want to just give it, the troops a little bit of rest for the time being. Hoping that... Oh, a major defeat. I let, oh, yeah, I kind of knew that, that might happen. Okay, in that case, you just stick in there. Let these troops retreat. We'll try to buy at least some time for those to get back to safety. Battle Commander Recognition Advance. Tactical Air Command Advance. And Shanghai was a victory. We did suffer some losses there, but nothing too bad. And we inflicted uh, nearly 6,000 casualties. I think that's good enough. We'll go ahead and send one of these away. And then I suppose the close air support, now that we've uh, basically... Ooh, okay, there's still quite a bit of ships there. Now, to be fair, that does mean that they'll need to repair for a while. I could probably go ahead and send these back uh, north somewhere. Actually, no, we'll let them be in Shanghai for now. Uh, how are we looking down south? That is still a bit of a mis well, not a mystery, but a precarious situation, let's just say. I'm going to go ahead and pull that one back. Is that one? That one's hills. Right, so over here, at least we've had the river crossing penalty for the enemy. But I think this one's actually going to hold for now. That one, not necessarily. We could probably send the naval infantry back into the combat to buy us some more time. And maybe we can go ahead and send this one light infantry. Ah, there we go. The mountain, it did hold. Oh, barely. But it did hold. And that infantry division is going to have to pull back. Uh, we've got another mountaineer that could maybe move in there instead. To assist in the defending. While we try to push back the enemy. The One of the enemy units, right, that's the multiple combat. And that one's pretty close to shattering. So we've got a fairly good chance. Udra rationing, I don't think we need that one, quite frankly. We could redirect our manpower again, but... You know what? Yeah, I suppose we should probably do that. We've got such a massive income of uh, manpower anyway. Uh, we could go for the better research again, or we could go for the IC efficient for production, to be fair. I think we're going to go with that one this time around. We've got quite a bit of production that needs to happen. But the faster we can do it, the better. We do get the petroleum refinery. Oh, and Tyler is now under attack. Tantu is right. I'm going to go ahead and pull that one across the river. Well, over here, hopefully we can buy enough time for the units to retreat. This one's, uh, hmm, it's trying to get in there. They might not get there in time. So the Japanese attacks in the north. I mean, it's, the problem is that they've got airfield coverage there. We do not. This one's also looking a little bit rough. At least we got someone in there. Where did we... Oh, yeah, we did send Katmandos in there. Right, Katmandos are now the one that is basically holding the line there. Scrap metal drive. No, nah, I don't think we need that one either. Small warship engine advance. And, ah, there we go, armament as well. So we can go ahead and get these small ships another level. And that is something that we do want to research as soon as possible. So that goes back to the top. And there's a little bit of enemy troops in here, but I suppose... The interceptors... Hmm. We've got a relatively short range on these. I do wonder though, so there's the... Um... Oh right, we got the drop tanks already. At least to research whether we uh, have them on the interceptors already or not, I don't know. But yeah, overall our planes aren't necessarily the, the longest range planes uh, that they are. 
I think we may need to go ahead and you know what? You can join in the combat. But the margin needs to pull back. Oh, well, there we go, Victor is seeping. Well, one way or the, or the other, we might be able to get to back to Kashi. But then this one's looking a bit dire. We've got still one unit vending. Patrol rationing, I think we don't need that one. This is strike tactics advance, there we go. And special force branch upgrade, there we go. So that does unlock the elite commander units. Last construction underground resistances, and then it leads to the strike commando. Which is basically taking this beginner air unit that is very, very effective, but it usually takes massive damage. It's quite expensive to repair, if I remember correctly. So I don't know if we we're really going to bother going for that one right now. Uh, in the armor, we've still got quite a bit of research going. What are we researching right now, actually? Uh, medium armor design is going to be done uh, next month. Unlike armor design is going to be done in a few days, or two days, actually. Uh, there's the airborne unit training uh, railroad network to level 3. Human wave, ammunition capacity. That's for the planes, that is. Um, there's some more tactics. Uh, Twin Nation Bomber Bay. Amphibious Invasion. Uh, uh, tactics, or Invasion Focus, right. That gives the various infantry, not all, but various infantry units a bit of extra amphibious attack. And reducing some of the weights. And then there's a lot of other things that are going to be... Uh, are going to take a while before they're built. Now, I do wonder, maybe we should go for the Battlefield Modifier Armour. I mean, the fuel consumption can be a little bit bad, but it's not too bad. The toughness increasing is okay, although it doesn't increase it too much. So it's not really that much of an increase. It does increase some of the truck organizations, though. It could be kind of handy in that regard. But I think uh, we can probably live without it for now. But yeah, the big problem we have right now is that we can't negate the enemy. Um... I'm just going to go ahead and retreat both of these. We can't uh, negate the enemy air force uh, advantage up here. But once we start getting some of the airfields built, that will uh, allow us to maybe push further in. I think over here we're mostly fine, but they still got some of the planes there. And how's the mountains uh, combat in there? It's um, looking a little bit rough, but I think we might be able to win that. Ah, there we go. We got the industry and we got some infrastructure as well. Right, so this one's getting attacked a few times. Hantu was a victory. We'll try to hold on to that as long as possible, because if we lose that one, we won't have a river cr or sort of crossing point on this side of the river anymore. So the bridgehead must be maintained. Although that does mean that we might want to go ahead and send in... Although both of those are retreating in here. Did we have another one heading down there? I'm going to get send that one down south, actually, all the way to Beijing. Oh, we did have someone retreating there. Okay, never mind then. Well, it's still nice to have a bit more reinforcements there. Ooh, agricultural industry. Well, sure. And there's the light armor design. We can now research the special armor, or special purpose armor, especially amphibious tanks. So that might not be the worst idea. So what is our light armor right now, then? Ah. It doesn't have a name in here. It does seem like a bit like uh, T26 or something like that. And they've got the BT7M for the medium armor. And then we've got the multi turret Soviet tank over here for the heavy armor. <laughs> we don't have any heavy tanks right now built, but uh, we have the tech at least. So how about is this situation down south again? It's uh, somewhat uh, difficult to keep track of uh, all of this. Ooh, that light infantry division needs to pull back right now before it shatters down to 39%. Oh boy, yeah, that one's probably going to have to retreat pretty much instantly. Hey, at least we won along the coastline here. Barely, but we won. I'm going to send another division down there. To assist in the defense, so we can maybe do some troop rotation. But this one's probably not going to hold much longer. Even though we've got a fairly good defensive positions in there. Well, somewhat good defensive positions, I suppose. But the enemy's got... Oh, uh, cold rationing. No, I don't think we need that one. Although we're losing a little bit of energy, but it's not that bad. But with that, I believe we are actually out of time for this episode. So if you enjoyed this, please like and subscribe if I have it already. Also, get the links down below in the description. But other than that, thank you very much for watching. Until next time, bye-bye.